This is the Dell Premier Color UP3321Q. Now, this monitor does look like any other monitors out there, right? Well, why does it cost 38,259 ringgit, now discounted to 18,749 ringgit? Well, to answer that question, we will have to be blunt with you guys and tell you that this monitor is not meant for consumers like you and me. It's meant for professionals that require the utmost color accuracy with zero downtime on their monitors. That is why monitors like this are so expensive yet a lot of people will buy them because it comes with a built-in colorimeter at the bottom part of this monitor here. So I was actually contemplating how we should actually review this monitor here. I mean, our work here doesn't actually require Hollywood level of color accuracy and for us to do a color accuracy test on this monitor is pretty much pointless since it does have a self-calibrator anyway and it's powered by Kelman, by the way. However, we can highlight what sort of features are offered in this Dell Ultra Sharp 32 HDR Premier Color Monitor UP3221 q and why it's so expensive. So, unboxing this monitor is pretty simple and it's kind of similar with any other Dell monitors that we reviewed so far and overall installation process is very easy just like some of the other monitors that we tried in the past but one thing to take note is that the weight of this goddamn monitor is so heavy that I thought I was out of shape because I can't lift a 32 inch monitor turns out the entire shipping weight of this monitor plus all of the accessories in the box is at 24.33 kilograms most of the weight comes from the monitor and the stand and the base so that is why this monitor is so heavy and it's also quite difficult to grab because of its size but despite its weight the installation process is seamless so good job once everything is set up we can see that all of the io ports here and we have a bunch of them here is pretty standard so we have an ac power connector a stand lock feature double hdmi ports a single display port an audio line out, one Thunderbolt 3 upstream, one Thunderbolt 3 downstream, and then we have a few Type A ports that are 10 gigabits in speed, and also another external calorimeter port. So taking a look at all of the ports here, we still need to remember that this is a monitor for professionals. The standard HDMI and display ports here are pretty self-explanatory, but the Thunderbolt upstream and downstream ports are meant for daisy chaining a few of these monitors together. So I connect the phone to the monitor's Thunderbolt 3 upstream port first and then connect another Thunderbolt cable to the downstream port and then from that port, I connect it to the second monitor's upstream port and so on. So that is why it's called daisy chaining. You're just connecting one cable to the other. It's kind of like a long chain of monitors. But how is it like to actually use this monitor? Well, like what we mentioned earlier, this monitor's value comes from its color accuracy and the built-in color meter. To make full use of it, the monitor also comes with very advanced firmware. If we take a look at the OSD menu, it's laid out very nicely. The joystick behind here is very helpful in terms of navigation and makes everything easy. And we can see a lot of menus here and also a lot of sub-menus. So I won't go through all of them here, so I'll just go through everything for you to see and to let you have a better look at what options are available here. A few things to highlight here though. Because this is a professional monitor, the brightness slider is now calibrated to show what candela per meter square, which is actually just nits in other words. And this brightness setting is usually shown in percentage, but not in this case. And there are also a lot of color spaces for you to choose from, and it also has color presets and calibrated profiles. There's also different markers like 16x9 or 4x3 with safe margins which is something useful for videographers and I think photographers as well. But what's important here though is that self-calibration feature. That calibrator is built right at the bottom part of this monitor here and it will pop itself out like a sprinkler and then calibrate the monitor for you. Because of how monitors will tend to lose its color accuracy over time, this OSD menu has a feature to automatically calibrate for you and you can set it to automatically calibrate every 200 hours of usage or you can set it to daily, weekly, monthly or even quarterly. So that's up to you. We can schedule the calibration to be done regularly and automatically like 
2 a.m. every day. So this monitor will calibrate itself when no one is using. Hopefully you don't have to work until 2 in the morning. And then by the time we get back into the office or studio in the morning, then we will know that the color is already accurate to be used. We can even select what color profile this monitor should be calibrated for. So we got the standard sRGB, Adobe RGB, DCI-P3 and a lot more like I don't know what they are called but it's available in this monitor too and you can also set your own custom color profiles if you want to calibrate for those color gamuts. And then after the calibration, we can also select the monitor to validate its calibration. Presumably, the validation should be done before calibration because it doesn't really make sense if I calibrated the monitor then it should be already accurate, right? Why do I want to validate it again? So yeah, you can save some time if the validation is still within margin of error, then you don't have to calibrate it. And in case you doubt the built-in colorimeter's color accuracy, well, remember there's a port here at the bottom right side of the monitor, that external colorimeter port. I forgot where it is. Here. You can plug in your own colorimeter to this monitor and use its firmware to calibrate the monitor for you. And so that's about it. I'm not in any position to make any comments about this monitor since it's literally overkill for our use case anyway. So if you are in a studio and you require all of these high-end color accuracy monitors, then you might consider getting this monitor. And if you've watched this video until this point, then I congratulate you for watching a video about a monitor that is the price of a car. But yeah, then again, big businesses will most likely use this kind of monitors. For example, Pixar, I don't know, Illumination. Do you need color accurate minions? I don't know, but there you have it. So if you have any questions about this monitor, please don't ask me because I'm not in any position to answer them. But I hope this video helps you out if you're considering getting this monitor and we'll see you guys in the next video.